Hi everyone, it's Miss K. I want to demonstrate how to access course content on D2L in this accelerated seven and a half week semester. I'm logged on as a student. The view you see here is the same one you'll have when you access the page for the class. We're gonna focus on the content tab. This will open the table of contents and you'll see here that the course is divided up into modules or folders. And aside from the course information module, all of the course content is divided up into weekly modules. One week before the start of the semester, you'll have access to D2L. And I suggest that you get into this course information module and access all of the information in chronological order. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. Click on the checklist tab here. And as you move down the page, you'll see these arrows at the top and bottom of the page that allow you to move forward and backward through the tabs within a module. It's really important to access all of the information in the course information module as soon as possible to get to know about me, the course, There is an on-graded survey and some bonus assignments that you can use to earn some extra credit even before the class starts. You'll have access to the syllabus. In this course, I use inclusive access through the bookstore. This is an external link to Brightwave Red Shelf. In order to access your ebook, on D2L, you'll need to first configure yourself. Look in your OCC student email for that email from the bookstore to help you configure yourself. And if you have any questions about that, reach out to the bookstore. I host commonly asked questions, short instructional videos, such as this one here about aspects of the course. And then finally, a sneak peek at next week. When you conclude a module, it's gonna spit you back out into that table of contents. And then we can navigate a weekly module just so that you can get a feel for the layout. And then as you move through week two, three, et cetera, all of the weekly modules are gonna be laid out in the exact same way for best practices, starting with the learning guide. Take some time to really read this in depth. And when you're ready to move on, you can use the toggle arrow to move through the tabs in chronological order. Next, you'll find a checklist where you can check off the tasks for the week. The lecture and supplemental materials tab is really important. This is where you will conduct this asynchronous online course. You get to play professor. You'll find a film grammar sheet and the weekly lecture or lectures in two different formats, in PDF format and also in video format. I host my supplemental videos on YouTube through my YouTube channel. You can watch the videos in line on D2L or click on the player to watch them on YouTube. The support materials tab is really important. Here's where, if applicable, you'll find external links about the topic and then instructions for how to complete the weekly assignments. I suggest you spend a decent amount of time in this area weekly until you really feel secure with the expectation for the assignments of the week. You can access the weekly assignments through the assignments tab in a weekly module. And then the last tab in a weekly module is always a sneak peek at next week where you can kind of get a jump or get a look at what we'll be covering in the following week.
As I mentioned, you can use the toggle arrow to move forward or backward through the tabs in chronological order. Or if you just want to jump to a particular tab, and I suggest that you don't jump to a tab until you've done the chronological uh, exploration of the week. But if you just want to jump to a tab, say you're ready to submit your assignments and, and you just want to jump to the assignments tab, you can just click on that tab and it will navigate you directly to that area. Returning to the homepage before I conclude this demo, I'm just going to click on the tabs at the top of the page so that you can get to know a little bit more about how the course is designed. The discussions tab will open all of the discussions for the entire semester. And you can just hover over this area to see when a discussion is open, when you can submit your assignment, and when it closes. The assignments tab is where you can go to submit your response paper assignment. You can also travel back here to view your submission history and to see your score and my feedback in your rubric evaluation. The quizzes tab will host all of the tests for the semester. The grades tab is a really important area. That's where you get a running tally of your points your grades, and also you can see the rubric and my feedback. Other tools is an area that's mostly going to be used by the instructor, so we're not going to dig too deeply into the other tools area, but we're going to spend a little bit of time before we conclude in the student services area. This is a really important tab. If you need help with your studies, you can reach out to the Academic Support Center. If you need help with D2L, a technology piece, you can reach out to the D2L student help desk. Disability services, if you need help with anything related to a disability, you can access the library holdings. You can reach out and ask a libra librarian a question. Online readiness, you can access other instructional videos with help for how to navigate D2L, your email, and reach out for tutoring if you need it. I wanna thank you so much for taking the time to watch this instructional video, and I do hope that this information has been helpful.